I'm going to go ahead and show you how to solve for electric fields. On the equation sheet, we have this equation here for the electric force, F equals K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. What's not on the equation sheet, but the equation you'll be using today is this one here, E equals KQ over R squared. E is the electric field in newtons per coulomb. K is the still 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q is charge, and R is the separation distance. You can also use F equals EQ, as in how the force relates to the field. This is very similar to equations you used in mechanics, where we would say G, the acceleration due to gravity on another planet, would be big G, M over R squared. And if we want to find the force of gravity, we would use MG, where G would be the field, M would be the mass. I aligned it this way. G and E are fields, Q and M, mass, charge. So let's go ahead and put this one into practice. Uh, start with this. What is the electric field generated 15 centimeters to the right of a 6 millicoulomb charge? So E equals KQ over R squared. K is 9E9. Q is 6E negative 3. And R, 15 centimeters, convert it to meters, so it'll be 0.15. At this point, you grab the calculator. 9 times 10 to the 9th times 0 0.006 divided by 0.15 squared. You'll notice that fields, electric fields in particular, are very large compared to gravitational fields. Uh, we get 2.4 billion. As for direction, the preflight should have told you that, but the direction is uh, the direction a positive charge would accelerate. So if we think about what's happening, here is our 6 millicoulomb charge, and here is the position. 15 centimeters away. If I placed a positive charge here, it would be repelled. So the field is directed to the right. Uh, let's move to a little bit more complex one. We have two fields here, and we want to find what is the electric field at position P. I need to give these charges some values. Why don't we go with 8 microcoulombs and negative 6 microcoulombs? So what we're going to do is we're going to solve one field at a time. We'll call this one A, this one B. Uh, field A is since field direction is based on the way a positive charge would accelerate. In response to A, it would be repelled from A, so that'll be to the right. So the electric field from A is to the right. As for B, it will be attracted to it, so the electric field from B is to the left. Solve the two individual fields and then add them together, see what you get. So the field from A is KQ over R squared. 9e9, 8e negative 6 over 70 centimeters, so 0.70 squared. 9 times 10 to the 9th times 8 times 10 to the negative 6. Divide that by 0.7 squared, and I get a field of about 147,000. As for field B, kq over r squared, again, 9e9. 6e negative 6 and 0 0.20 squared. I get uh, 1.35 million newtons per coulomb. So the final thing is to say, all right, EA is to the right, EB is to the left. So we'll go 147,000 minus 1.35 million. And the result is going to be a negative 1,203,000 newtons per coulomb. Since it is negative, that would mean the field is to the left.